operated by British Airways to my We're just about set to go now. Everybody's on board. All your bags are in. We just went for the final cargo in order to close. And then we'll push back on schedule in just under two minutes time. Or so. Quite a breezy day here at Heathrow. It has been for the last couple of days. And I'm sure you're aware we've been here for some time. Our taxi routing takes us around the airfield. to Quite a long way around towards two seven right to eventually launch off towards the west. Our routing takes us over Windsor Castle, the right turn takes us up to the centre of the country, I see Nottingham, Manchester, up towards Scotland, and then we turn back to Cotton. The routing you can follow in the flight is the system, but the flight time of take off and two touchdowns are ready to have no Very nice, I should uh, land on schedule quite comfortably. With me here in the cockpit is Senior Cousin Officer Andrew. Robinson and Senior Consultant James Graham looking after you in the cabin 22 cabin crew is led today by Cabin Service Director. Now, very shortly as we start to move from here, the cabin crew will demonstrate the essential safety features of the aeroplane to you. If you've not noticed, you're sitting on, on board the world's largest commercial aeroplane, Airbus A380, and it takes about five minutes at least to run through the safety demonstration. So if you're not familiar, I would very strongly recommend you watch this in very carefully. A couple of minutes, uh, information items in addition to that, the seatbelt sign above your head, which you will be familiar with, it sounds like that. When it's on, we do require you to be in your seat with your seatbelt securely fastened. And even if it's off, which it will be for most of the flight, it's probably a good idea to keep your seatbelt securely fastened and visible throughout the flight. The other side is no smoking sign. That stays on all the way to Miami. British Airways operates a very strict no smoking policy, and that includes the use of electronic cigarettes or vapes. Found in the last two and a half years of operating the yeah, is that um, electronic ah, cigarettes have a nasty yeah, habit of yeah. setting off the smoke alarms. So, for that reason, yeah. electronic cigarettes are also so not a problem. So, as I say, it's uh, pretty breezy out of here. Uh, we'll keep the seatbelt signs for a little bit uh, until we pass about 10 or 20,000 feet, and then it should be relatively smooth as it drops to the point If you've not flown on the E3 before, as you feel like so far, it's been very positive. You find it a very quiet and Hope you enjoy the same, and we'll be off uh, on our way. Thank you very much. The cabin crew now arm the doors and cross check. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to take you through our safety procedures. We would appreciate your full attention at this time. Follow instructions carefully. 
first, check your seatbelt is securely fastened. Insert the metal tag into the buckle and tighten it by pulling on the loose end. To unfasten, simply lift up the metal flap on the buckle and pull apart. You'll find the seatbelt sign in the panel above your head. When it's on, you must fasten your seatbelt. We'll provide extension seatbelts for infants. If you are not in your seat when the seatbelt sign is switched on, Please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt securely. We suggest you keep your seatbelt fastened and visible during our flight, even when the sign is off. Your life jacket is either beside or underneath your seat. To use it, pull it out of the bag and place it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist and tie them securely with a double bow to your side. Inflate your life jacket when you leave the aircraft. We will supply infant flotation aids for babies and children. In the unlikely event of the aircraft having to make an emergency landing, you'll be told to take this protective brace position. But when seated facing rearwards in club world, you must adopt this position. We will now explain how to leave the aircraft in an emergency. Move quickly to the closest usable exit, taking nothing with you. High-heeled shoes must be taken off as they may tear the evacuation slide. Emergency lighting, including low-level lighting, will help you find your way to the exits. These are clearly signed. On the main deck, there are two exits at the rear of the aircraft, and two at the front of each cabin section. On the upper deck, there are two exits in the middle of the Club World cabin, two at the rear of the World Traveller Plus cabin, and two in the middle of the World Traveller cabin. Your crew will now point out the exits nearest to you. To open the doors, move the handle in the direction of the red arrow. Opening the doors automatically inflates the evacuation slides. The slides can also be inflated by pushing the manual inflation push button. Jump onto the slide and move away from the aircraft. If the aircraft has landed on water, <coughs> these slides detach to form rafts. As you leave the aircraft, inflate your life jacket by pulling the red tag. If necessary, Blow into this mouthpiece to top up the air. The life jacket is fitted with a light and a whistle. Your oxygen mask is behind the panel just above your head. If the cabin air system should fail, this will be released. Stay in your seat and pull the mask towards you to open your supply. Please note that the bag does not inflate. Place it over your mouth and nose and adjust the bands to secure it. Then breathe normally. Do make sure your own mask is correctly fitted before helping anyone else. In some areas, you release the mask by pulling on this colored streamer. If you're in a club world sleep seat, you may need to reach through the dividing screen to retrieve your mask. You may continue to use handheld electronic devices during taxi, takeoff, and landing. If flight safe mode is enabled, they are held securely or placed into a pocket. Larger devices, such as laptops, must be safely stowed at these times. <laughs> Any transmitting devices without a flight safe mode must be switched off for the duration of the flight. For further information on using electronic devices in flight, please check High Life magazine. Take care your hand baggage isn't blocking the exits or aisles. Personal bags must be put under the seat in front of you, and larger items should be placed securely in the overhead locker. Please place all items in carefully, so they do not fall out and cause injury. As this is a no-smoking service, the no-smoking signs will remain on for the duration of the flight. As we prepare for takeoff, please make sure that your tray table is put away, your seat is upright, and your armrest is down. Please stow your individual video screen and footstool if you have them. Finally, take a look at the safety card in the seat pocket. If you have any questions, please ask your crew. We hope you have a relaxed and enjoyable flight. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to add my welcome to Captain Cook. My name is Ian Holmes and I'm your cabin service director on this flight to Miami. It is our pleasure to have you on board with us today and welcome back to our executive club members and one world frequent flyers. We do all hope that you enjoy your flight with us today.
That's all right. He was desperate, wasn't Yeah, maybe.